Over the years, we have seen Keegan-Michael Key and Jordan Peele combine to produce some of the best comedy shows and movies that we've seen in the 21st century. They are combining once again as co-stars on Wendell and Wilde. What is Wendell and Wilde all about though? Which roles are Key and Peele playing? All of these and more will be discussed in this video, so stay tuned. To begin with, what is Wendell and Wilde about? Wendell and Wilde is a stop-motion animation based on a story written by Henry Selleck. It will use puppets instead of real actors. Selleck started writing writing the story around late 2015. It was eventually picked up by Netflix in March of 2018. Wendell and Wilde chronicles the story of two demon brothers who enlist the help of 13-year-old Cat Elliot to summon them to the land of the living. It's a comedy horror movie that also treats social issues, like children who find themselves in the school prison pipeline. The movie was originally written to focus on the nun, Sister Helly, but Peel suggested that Cat should be the focus. Now, the story is basically how Cat faces her demons. Wendell and Wilde will premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival on September 11th, 2022. It will then be released in theaters on October 21st and Netflix by October 28th. But who is Keegan-Michael Key? Keegan-Michael Key is an actor, comedian, producer, and screenwriter. Key got his big break when he joined the cast of Mad TV in 2004. Since then, he has supported and co-starred in various other shows. These shows include Friends of College and USA Network's Playing House. He has also had supporting roles in several films, including Horrible Bosses 2 in 2014, Pitch Perfect 2 in 2015, Don't Think Twice in 2016, and Dolomite Is My Name in 2019. He has provided voice work for the Lego Movie 2014 and the subsequent films of the Hotel Transylvania franchise 2015 through 2022 as the voice of Murray, Storks and the Angry Birds Movie both 2016, and The Star 2017. He also voiced Kamari in the Lion King remake, Ducky in Toy Story 4 both 2019, and Honest John in the Pinocchio remake 2022. In 2015, he appeared at the White House Correspondents' Dinner as the key and peel character Luke. Luther, President Barack Obama's anger translator. In 2017, Key made his Broadway debut in Steve Martin's comic play Meteor Shower. Key has also appeared in the musical film The Prom 2022, directed by Ryan Murphy on Netflix, and the musical comedy series Schmigadoon 2021 on Apple TV+. And who is Jordan Peele also? Jordan Peele also got his big break through Mad TV. It was on the set of Mad TV that he met Key and formed the legendary partnership we will all know today. Peele is an actor, comedian, director, and screenwriter. Peel has also starred, appeared in, produced, and directed several movies. In 2010, Peel co-starred in the Fox comedy pilot The Station and appeared with a reoccurring role in the Adult Swim series Children's Hospital. He also had a supporting role in the David Wayne directed comedy Wanderlust, which was released in 2012. Peel has voice acted in Storks 2016, Captain Underpants the first epic movie 2017, Big Mouth 2017 to present, and Toy Story 4 2019. Peel co-created the TBS comedy series The Last OG 2018 to 2022. He has also served as the host and producer of the CBS All Access revival of the anthology series The Twilight Zone 2019 through 2020. His 2017 directorial debut, the horror film Get Out, was a critical and box office success for which he received numerous accolades, including the Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay, along with nominations for Best Picture and Best Director. He received another Academy Award nomination for Best Picture for producing Spike Lee's Black Klansman 2018. In February of 2020, Peel produced a 10-episode series about hunting down Nazis called Hunters. Peel's second film as director was Us, a horror thriller film that he also wrote and produced, starring Lupita Nyong, Winston Duke, Elizabeth Moss, and Tim Heidecker. Peel's latest film, Nope, was released on July 22, 2022. Up next, what is the history between Key and Peel? Keegan-Michael Key and Jordan Peel have featured and starred in several comedy movies and shows. They have developed remarkable chemistry. Key and Peel have been acting side-by-side -side since 2003 when they both joined the cast of Fox's Mad TV in its ninth season. The news has it that they were meant to audition against each other, but both of them ended up being signed up to the cast because of their comedic chemistry. Key and Peele have also starred in various shows and movies after Mad TV. They have both co-owned and co-starred a show. The show was named Key and Peele after them and aired for five seasons on Comedy Central between 2012 and 2015. They also both acted in FX's Fargo, which was released in 2014. In 2016, they co-produced and co-starred in comedy action movie Keanu. They were also also part of the Storks cast. This leads to the next question. Why did the producers of Wendell and Wilde choose Key and Peele? Based on Key and Peele's history, it is no wonder that they were cast to act together in Wendell and Wilde. The producers obviously know of Key and Peele's reputations and chemistry in the comedy genre. They probably didn't think too much about it because who else would play brothers in a comedy movie to great effect? In addition to how good they are, their names will also make more people want to watch the movie because of the reputation that they both have built over the years. So, both from artistic and commercial perspectives, the producers 
couldn't have chosen better. And now, to what you have been waiting for. What roles are Key and Peele playing in Wendell and Wild? Key will be the voice of Wendell in the horror comedy stop animation movie Wendell and Wild, while Peele will play Wild. Wendell and Wild are demons and brothers looking for a way back into the world of the living. They enlist the help of teenager Cat Elliot in their quest. We should expect the chemistry that Key and Peele are known for to shine through in this movie. Up next, who are the other actors? Other actors voicing characters in Wendell and Wild are Lyric Ross as Cat Elliot, Angela Bassett as Sister Helly, James Hong as Father Bests, Ving Rhames as Buffalo Belzer, and Sam Zelaya as Raul. Others are Tamara Smart as Shaban, Seema Verdi as Sloan, Ramona Young as Sweetie, and Michelle Marina as Sister Daly, Sister Chinstrap. In related news, director David Cronenberg returns to body horror with Crimes of the Future. David Cronenberg, the director, is once more using his old methods. He has returned to the same meaty, uncomfortable narrative that first made him famous from the mid-70s onward, after spending more than 20 years away from the body horror genre, a cycle of movies that previously ended with Existence in 1999. Is Crimes of the Future meant to be an overview or a look back at his career? From the pulsating appendages of Rabid and Videodrome, to the calmer drama of Dead Ringers, to the sex and machine sexiness of Crash, there are undoubtedly echoes of just about every Cronenberg film possible here. If all of that is unplanned, Crimes of the Future has a strong sense of deathly finality even for a David Cronenberg film. The film's main character, Saul Tenser, Viggo Mortensen, is an aging performance artist who appears to be kept alive by a variety of biomechanical devices, such as a chair that helps him gulp down food and a bed that may or may not be sentient. Crimes of the Future is a compelling watch. Its portrayal of a bleak, uncertain future appears almost unsettlingly prescient, given that it premiered as the world was recovering from a pandemic only to descend into war and economic disaster. And finally, Warner Brothers CFO dismisses outcry to Batgirl cancellation. The chief financial officer of Warner Brothers Discovery criticized the response to Batgirl's cancellation as being blown out of proportion. While the choice alone is regrettable enough, Warner Brothers hasn't exactly made a name for itself in the weeks since. Warner Brothers doesn't seem to have a handle on the extent of public sentiment against its decision making, as seen by the company's admission that the movie was shelved to obtain a tax break or its puzzling silence over the problematic actions of their incumbent Flash, Ezra Miller. You can now write off the studio's CFO, Gunnar Weidenfeld's public criticism of the press coverage of Batgirl's cancellation as being blown out of proportion as another PR blunder. Speaking last week at the Bank of America Media Communications and Entertainment Conference, Weidenfels made the somewhat tone-deaf remark. He denied that the company's reputation had been damaged and dismissed the internet uproar as nothing more than media likes to talk about media, I guess. If internal discussions at Warner Brothers Discovery are proceeding in that manner, the current management clearly lacks the understanding of how decisions that they make affect fans, audiences, and industry experts. The search for a new director for the DCEU films is still ongoing, but Warner Brothers needs to find someone soon since the way it is handling the matter is progressively alienating its core supporters, those who pay to watch its movies, and those who make them. You have now gotten to the end of this video. Do you expect another stellar performance from Key and Peele? Also, what are your thoughts about the comments of Warner Brothers CFO? Leave your answers in the comment section.